mind I feel like breaking down time after time And it keeps coming back, always coming back hey, All my life, down it was a part of me Day and night, I fight my insecurities Asking why, why am I, who am I I just want some peace of mind Make the stress go away, go away All my life, I know you've been guiding me You're the one, the one who knows my destiny I'll be alright, I'm sure that you look after me You know what's inside of me And the salam, for me no
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A very good evening. We warmly welcome all the interactors, rotractors, rotarians, and my fellow brothers and sisters who are present this evening. We present to you NUR 2021, a virtual commemoration of the dusk of fasting. To start off with today's proceedings, I call upon interactor Abdul Rahman to recite the Kirat and followed by its English translation. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون أياما معدودات فمن كان منكم مريضا أو على سفر فعدة من أيام أخر وعلى الذين يطيقونه فدية طعام مسكين فمن تطوع خيرا فهو خير له وَأَن تَسُومُوا خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ صَدَقَ اللَّهُ الْعَظِيمُ Thank you, Interactor Abdul Rahman, for the beautiful Kirat. Next, I call upon Interactor Azma Trifki to give the welcome speech. Yeah. 
Assalamu alaikum everyone. I'd like to offer you greeting of peace and warmly welcome all of you to the Noor 21 Iftar program. Our guest speaker for the day, Ashay Zumer Naim, a warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining us today, taking time out for your busy day schedule. We stand united as citizens of Sri Lanka in celebration of our of our common humanity and dedication to peace and justice for all. In this month of reflection, we cannot forget the millions of lives that have been displayed by conflicts, struggles and illness across the world. This sacred time reminds us of our common obligation to include those who are struggling in our prayers. With all of those reminders, I'd like to welcome you all once again to this blessed evening star program. I hope you that have a wonderful and productive time. Thank you. Thank you, Interactor Azma Trifki. Next, I would like to cordially invite our guest speaker, our Sheikh Zumer Naim, to address us on the topic regarding life after Ramadan. Over to you, sir. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim 
الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على شرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات وبينات من الهدى والفرقان صدق الله العظيم All praise indeed due to Allah سبحانه وتعالى Send blessings and salutation upon Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم His companions, whole family members, Amin. At the same time, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless and forgive every one of us. Amin. Dearest brothers in Islam and the listeners, today we are in the last few days of this holy month of Ramadan. And it is a big happy and joy moment for me and for you all to join here to share with share a few things which are most important which are very very important to lead a good life after ramadan so the topic i have chosen today is life after ramadan how we gonna we gonna lead, lead our life after ramadan inshallah ta'ala so to start with, I will start with a Quran ayah, a very beautiful Quran ayah, which is in the Surah Al-Baqarah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Shahru Ramadhan al-lazhi unzila fihi al-Quran. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is describing what is, describing what is Ramadan. What is the month of Ramadan? He did not say, he did not say month of Ramadan is for fasting. Allah Ta'ala did not define it month of Ramadan in which where you pray taraweeh. No. Allah Ta'ala did not describe the month of Ramadan in which you give sadaqas, you give charity. No. Allah Ta'ala is describing in a very beautiful manner in which you and me understand in which you and me understand, the whole world understands. Allah says the month of Ramadan in which, the month of Ramadan in which the Quran was revealed, in which the Quran was revealed. So what we understand from that particular Quran ayah, what we understand from the powerful words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Jalla Jalalu, we understand the importance of getting knowledge importance of interacting with the Quran in this holy month of Ramadan. So now I myself and you all should ask ourselves, what did I do in the month of Ramadan? Did I take the Quran and read from it? Or how many Qurans did I finish this, this particular Ramadan? Do I know how many surahs in the Quran? Do I know how many surahs in the Quran? Do I know how many Jesus in the Quran? I know how many ayahs talking about me, how many ayahs I have to learn? No, the answer is mostly no, and we don't know anything about what is in the Quran. But do you know what Allah says? Allah says in the Quran, وَكُلَّ شَيْءٍ فَصَّلَّهُ تَفْصِيلًا In the Quran, we, we explain to you everything in detail. Tafsil and the word tafsil in the Arabic language is to giving in detail. Allah Ta'ala, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, explained every aspect of our life in detail in the Quran. But after this Ramadan, we are in the 29th of Ramadan, the month of Ramadan. What do we know about Quran? That's a big question. Umar radiallahu anhu, Umar radiallahu anhu stated that, Hasibu qabla antu hasabu. Judge yourself before you are judged. 
if Allah is to be judged, Allah is to judge you, Allah is to judge you, the judgment will be very hard for you. So you judge before you are judged. You judge yourself. You ask yourself, do, do I perform this very well? Do I, do I do this very well? No. If the answer is no, if the answer is no, you have you have to rectify your amals. You have to rectify your activities. So the topic is to be, it's the topic supposed to be life after Ramadan, life after Ramadan. There is a beautiful hadith, beautiful narration of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, where he says, أَحَبُّ الْأَعْمَالِ إِلَى اللَّهِ أَدْوَمُهَا وَإِنْقَلَّ أَحَبُّ الْأَعْمَالِ إِلَى اللَّهِ أَدْوَمُ Pleasing to Allah. The ex which most pleasing to Allah. The ex which are continuously done. Which are very continuous. And also, it, it is continuous. And even if it is small, Allah will accept it. And after Ramadan, I won't ask you in this, in this advice, I won't ask you to perform so much of tahajjuds. No, I won't ask you to give so much of sadaqas. No, I won't ask you to so, do so. But I would ask you to do so small little bit of change, which can change your life, entire life at large. That is what most pleasing to Allah. Not you do so many things for one month after Ramadan and you lost your way down, down the way and you became more worse than which, what you were before. No, that is what not Allah and Rasul won't. What Allah and Rasul won't is little bit of change which is continuous, which you do continuously. That's what Allah and Rasul won't. Even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informed and ordered Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon him, فَاسْتَقِمْ كَمَا أُمِرْتَ وَمَنْ تَابَ مَعَكَ O Ya Rasulullah, O Prophet, do continuously what we ordered you to do. What we ordered you to do, you do it continuously. Don't do it for a time period and leave it alone. No, you do it small things continuously. That is what Allah and Allah wants you to do. And I'm taking you to another important change that you should suppose to take it to your life after Ramadan is the inner peace, the harmony and peace inside your heart and we know and you know you are a student of a particular school you have exams and you have assignments to do you have class activities to do you have to go to school you have to attend the zoom meetings you have to you have to go to the class and it is so boring it is it is really confusing you and you are not you are not holding inner peace anymore. You are in a tense situation. You have a, you have a family problem. You, your father is not doing good. Your mother is not doing good. Your siblings are not allowing to you to study. And your, uh, and, and your surrounding environment is not that okay to, okay to you to lead your, uh, lead your studies and educational active, academic activities. So you are, you are in a tense situation. So what you have to do now, what you have to do, after Ramadan, Allah is teaching you how to lead your life. Allah says, Indeed, verily, in the remembrance of Allah, the hearts find rest. The hearts find peace. Without the remembrance of Allah, you can't find any peace. It is weak. It, it, is, it is periodical. It would go vanish away. 
it won't re it won't resist anymore no do you think that the that the uh, periodical rest periodical peace be with you alone no it won't only the peace which is in you is the remembrance of allah if you continuously remember allah the inner peace the hearts find in you so you can you would ask me how we can remember allah do i have to by heart all those duas do i have to by heart zikrs do i have to do i have to say astaghfirullah do i have to say allahumma jirni min an-nar i would say no you have you have to you have to do something else you have to do something small you have to do something continuous allah teaches you and allah's rasul peace be upon him teaches you what you have to do to remember allah every single second every single minute of your life allah says wa aqimi salata li dhikri pray to remember me pray to remember me pray to make sure yet that you remember and allah says and allah says inna salata tanha anil fahsha'i wal munkar wa la dhikrullah akbar wallahu ya'lamu ma tasna'un allah says indeed the prayer prevents from all kinds of greater sins and disbeliefs and the best remembrance of allah is the prayer that you pray just a simple act every day you pray that's the best remembrance of allah so if you pray you are logically you are technically remembering allah if you remember allah your inner peace comes if your inner peace comes your academic activities your life activities your some other activities in your life would be very easier for you you will you will work more efficient you will work more faster your exams would be easy your class activities would be easy you, you, your your teachers your principal your vice principal won't scold you they they won't hate you Allah will make all of them loving you. Allah will make all your school activities, all your life activities easy. Now the question comes. I've been praying last 10 years. I've been praying last 5 years. I've been praying last 20 years. I've been praying last 40 years. Where is the peace? Where is the rest? where where my heart doesn't find any rest in me i'm always confused i'm always i'm always in a tense situation why is the reason the reason is that you are not praying as described as it is you are not performing the salah you are not performing that particular salah prayer as described as it is tell me how many of you how many of you ask yourself how many of you have started the prayer allahu akbar thinking that you are standing in front of the supreme lord supreme master allah and you are talking with him or discussing with him and you are coming to the end of the prayer assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah and your mind is still in the same position how many of you could assure that that your mind is reliable your mind is stable your mind is in the same position it is not shaking out until the last the last act of salam how many of you have done this in your life even myself i say no i can't do that i'm struggling i'm struggling in every single prayer i'm struggling in every single prayer that i can't do it remember when you when you are able to do do that 
you are saying allahu akbar bismillah arrahman arrahim your mind is towards allah it is not going somewhere else and you are going to assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah your mind is in the same position then the inner peace will come to you that is the best of the prayers not the prayers we, we do but when we pray when we pray we say allahu akbar and then you think oh i have an i have a homework to do tomorrow and say i have a homework to do tomorrow and uh, i have that work tomorrow i have to go and buy trousers tomorrow i have that dress to that dress to be dressed tomorrow i have that that activity and my teacher called me i have a class after nine o'clock i have a class on this time and that time i didn't do my homeworks all these things comes to your mind when you are when you are in the prayer so the inner peace would not come to your your heart anymore if your inner peace doesn't come doesn't stable in your heart your activities would be very hard your life gets hard and the last thing that this good prayer the prayer with khushu and khudu the prayer with the consistency of thinking towards allah brings you a best part of you in your life is al istighna ignoring the world at large ignoring the world at large is not that simple tell me how many of you how many of you expected a marks of 80 in your maths subject and you have ended up scoring 50 and you still say alhamdulillah how many of you said that ask yourself most of you haven't said that most of you fail to do that you said oh what happens to me this is my fate i am not going to study this all this what uh, where my duas went out where is my lord how much effort i put this is what we say this is what we say and you try to catch the train at 2 o'clock and uh, for, for uh, by a minute by a second you left it by a second you lost that train and you say oh my god how how struggle how many struggles i have come through to reach this train so how i am going to i am going to participate in that particular class in that particular program in that particular event no i can't do it now so now you are confused you are now scolding the reasons now you are scolding the parents you are now scolding all the surrounding circumstances you still you are not ready to accept that is that is what allah made me today all these circumstances all these reasons i i i was failed to score 80 marks in maths maths subject i failed to score 75 marks in my science subject and you accept that this is for a best of me allah has given me i accept what allah has given me how many of you said that most of you and even me failed to do so so if you pray well if you pray as continuous as it is and with the khushu and khudu then your inner peace would come to you then you would ignore the world at large you will be always happy you would be always happy you would be always joy no matter what happens to you in your life no matter what happens to you in your life even most of the problems will come to you most of the problems say for example 10 problems 1000 problems comes to you attacking your mind you would say that is from allah i accept it that's all so that is the change what i want you to do after this ramadan small change keep keep consideration in your salah in your prayers when you pray make sure that you are very constant make sure that you are very intended very intentive towards that particular salah your intention is to be towards allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that is a simple message i would i would prefer to share with you in this 
beautiful evening in this beautiful the blessed evening so may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us may allah bless every single one of us and may allah make us among those who were released from the hellfire in this last 10 nights of ramadan wa akhir da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin i would ask you to stay home stay blessed stay safe at your homes and when when it comes to the festival make sure that you won't go out and disturb the law and order and also disturb the fellow citizens of sri lanka may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless, bless us in the holy month of ramadan and bless us in the rest of the life wa akhir da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin Thank you, sir, for those educational words. We all learned a lot and were inspired. We now have a kasida by our very own interactors. Enjoy.
Thank you. I hope it was entertaining. Next, we have a quiz session organized via Kahoot, and I call upon interactor Charlie Krisney to carry out the session. Uh, everyone, a very good evening. So, this is a session of via of like organized via via Kahoot. What I want to do is that like people who wanted to participate for this quiz session, I want you all to visit this website www.kahoot.it. Uh, you can type this website on your web browser or any browser, like or, or with the Kahoot app itself. People have the app. So first of all, visit the website. Once after you receive the website, they will be requesting you all a pin. So in order for the pin, please use this pin 9622663. And of course, it will be directing you to request your name as well. Uh, for your name, please do mention your real name. So when it comes to it will be really easy for us in order to decide the winner. So yeah, please do start joining. Uh, and to and to mention that whoever wins the session, we all will be rewarded with the e certificate. Hello everyone, we'll be starting the game in another three minutes, so I request you all to join as soon as possible. The URL for the website and the code has been dropped in the chat box as well, you all can refer to it.
Okay, everyone, uh, let's start the session. So far, we have Shahil in the rank. Seems like the game is going interesting so far. We have Zahra Irfan on the lead.
still we have Zahra Irfan on the lead. <laughs> Okay guys, we have just two more questions to go, let's keep this hype going on. Congratulations, Zara Irfan, Ishwak, and Shamil for answering the lovely question. And yes, thank you everyone for part. Thank you everyone who participated for this session. And of course, I hope that it was quite fun and I hope learn something. Thank you. I hope that y'all had fun and learned something today. We have come to the end of the celebration. I call upon interactor Charlie Krizny to give away the word of thanks.
we are facing a few technical difficulties just hold for a while till we continue thank you Subhanallah walhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah Subhanallah I know it's hard to believe, but it's from the Almighty. When the leaves fall from the tree, every plant that grows on land, when the waves flow in the sea, it's by His command. Subhanallah, alhamdulillah, wa la Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah To Allah do I return, paradise is what I'll earn If I work hard and pray to my Lord Show me the way the Prophet went Let me hold tight to your robe Without Islam there is no hope Subhanallah, walhamdulillah Wa la ilaha illallah Subhanallah, walhamdulillah Wa la ilaha illallah Subhanallah, walhamdulillah Wala ilaha illallah Ya Wa sallim daiman abadan ala habibika khayr al-khalq kullihimi mawla ya salli wa sallim daiman abadan ala habibika khayr al-khalq kullihimi ya nabi salam alayka ya rasul salam alayka ya habib salam Salut à 
شفيع الأمة بذكر الرسول تشحذ الهمة يا ربي بجاه النبي أزيح الغمة يا ربي بجاه النبي أزيح الغمة قمرون قمرون قمر سيدنا النبي قمرون وجميل 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 سيدنا النبي محمد السلام عليك يا يا رسول الله السلام عليك يا حبيبي يا نبي الله السلام عليك يا يا رسول الله السلام عليك يا حبيبي يا نبي الله يا رسول الله مولاي صلي وسلم دائما أبدا على حبيبك خير مولاي صلي وسلم دائما أبدا على We now have the word of thanks. Enjoy. Uh, hello everyone. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen who are present here. Uh, it gives an immense pleasure for me to deliver the vote of thanks for this event. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank Almighty Allah for giving us this opportunity to have this event in the middle of this ongoing pandemic. 
by Hobby giving us this virtually. And I would like to thank Ashik Zuman Naim on addressing us about the life after Ramadan. Thank you, sir. It was very useful. And of course, we, we educated something. And uh, also, I would like to thank our beloved principal, staff members, participants, and volunteers who are present here today. Without them, we would not have been able to gather today here. Last but not least, a very big thank you goes to our beloved audience for joining with us today and making this evening and this event a success. And once again, I thank you, thank you all for taking your time and being present with us today. And of course, I hope you all enjoy this. Thank you. Until then, Viva La Inglag. Thank you, Interactor Charlie Krizny. It is now time to break fast. Thank you everyone for joining this event with us virtually. I hope you all learned something and enjoyed this evening. Once again, thank you for joining and let us end this celebration with the Azan. We were given so many prizes We changed the desert into oasis We built buildings of different lengths and sizes And we felt so very satisfied We bought and bought and couldn't stop buying We gave charity to the poor cause we couldn't stand there crying We thought we paid our dues but in fact To ourselves we're just lying Oh, I'm walking with my head lowered in shame for my place I'm walking with my head lowered for my race Yes, it's easy to blame everything on the West When in fact our focus should be I'm alive, Ramadan, ya shahr al Quran.
أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله هيا على الصلاة Thank you. 